Game 24 continues, special guests, videos, exclusive information, and we're honored to, to be joined in the studio by Chloe Dykstra, who is a cosplay <laughs> extraordinaire, celebrity <laughs> gamer. She's on Sci-Fi Channel's Heroes of Cosplay, and welcome to the studio. Have my intro Chloe. memorized now? You're no, like... not really. I just I, I watch the show. I watch uh, Heroes of Cosplay. I love that show. Thank you. Welcome to the studio, Chloe. Yay. Hi. Woo. How are you doing? It's Come so on. nice to meet you. It's nice I, to meet I only you too. know your virtual self, and so oh, I that's thought, right. Yes, it's nice to like actually meet you yes, in person. Absolutely. You're on one hour sleep right now. I'm one, one that's hour what I sleep, heard. girl, that's... and I will be here until the end. Oh my god. I know, and I've only had one sip of an energy drink, so I'm about to hit we'll that. Fix that. That's, after, yeah, that's after we'll your fix interview. That. That's super impressive. <laughs> that's what I'm going to be doing. <laughs> so, so welcome to Game Twenty Four. Thank you. Um, so, tell us, you know, you're huge into the PC gaming community, and it's it's come to dominate many aspects of your life. So, talk to me about that. What, tell, take me back to the beginning. Okay, where, the where beginning. did the love start? Are we talking about the beginning of gaming in general, or sure? Or okay. what was the what was the video game that made you fall in love with games? It would probably be Zelda, and oh. I'm actually like doubling up because I have a Triforce tattoo. Oh, oh my gosh! And I was like, do I need all this Triforce clothing? By the way, I'm like, <laughs> am I doubling up? No, I think that I think it's appropriate. To absolutely, wear. absolutely. Um, Zelda was it. So Zelda was my first game, really, like my first game on on console, and um, I finally started making the transition to PC, like last year and it's pretty amazing it's pretty amazing but i'm new i'm new to the pc gaming community but what are you playing on pc um well last i was playing some left for dead um <laughs> it's actually much easier to get headshots when you're when you're on pc <laughs> that's what i'm learning and then uh, i've been playing a lot of you know indie games like papers please and stuff like that yeah it's awesome. so what since this is a new transition for you roughly like a year ago what mm -hmm. was the game that brought you over to the pc community um okay i'd probably have to say league of legends <laughs> i started a little bit and i was playing world of warcraft for a while too um but yeah i mean like the mmos on 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 pc are pretty much what brought me over and i'm curious uh, we saw actually in heroes of cosplay that you were involved in the creation of a character Oh, right? that's right. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. For Dragon Age, yeah. Dragon Age Inquisition. Tell us about that. Oh my god, that was crazy. It was really cool because I was working with BioWare and essentially they were making the game. They're working on the game Dragon Age and they were creating this character Sarah. And so because they were creating this character and they said we want you to cosplay as her. So it was kind of a collaboration and I got to change the costume the way I wanted to with Jessica Marzen and Holly Conrad and who, you know, they work with uh, BioWare a lot. And so we got to make the costume together and it was amazing. It was like it was so fun. I got to style her hair and everything. So. What's the most intricate, you know, in terms of hours put in, cosplay that you've done? <sighs> well, it's insane because I feel like most of the costumes costumes I made I've made within a week or two. Oh wow! Okay. So wow. whatever, yeah, I would say with I did a gauge from Borderlands, um, and you guys are having Randy Pitchford oh, in, right? I know, right? Yes. I love him. Um, so yeah, I, I want him to be my dad. I love him, <laughs> I love him so much. That's awesome. Um, but I did gauge from Borderlands, and that was super work intensive. And I, because I made her costume, and then I also made the robot. It was so accurate. It was amazing. Thank I, that was you. one of my favorite cosplays that you've done. Thank you. In well, addition to the Poison Ivy. It's funny because with cosplay, there's so many ways you could do it, and so a lot of the costumes that I did were very much like this is a Chloe costume, so I'm going to take this and translate it into this. So like GLaDOS, I did GLaDOS, and I basically designed the costume myself because she's a robot, so, you know, so I got to make her costume myself and design it. But with Gage, you know, I was like, I'm going to try to go for accuracy. And so I made all these different little pieces, and it was incredibly stressful, but it was so much fun. What happens to the costumes after you wear them? <laughs> Do After have, the second any... time, <laughs> the my closet. <laughs> do you just have like a cosplay closet? I do, dress? and it's it's gigantic. It's spilling Is out it into organized? my. It's called my living room. Yeah. So <laughs> no. What's the percentage of normal clothes you wear and oh cosplay God. clothes? Oh God. You or do they kind of like? Are you like? Are you ever wearing normal? 80, 10, 80, 90? It's 80, insane. Wait, well, I don't know. I don't even know. Like everything sort of it can be cosplay. I have con clothes. I have a closet full of like nerdy T-shirts and stuff right. like that. I have a closet full of normal people clothes, <laughs> and then I have a closet which is the biggest closet full of costumes, basically. Is there ever a crossover like where it's just maybe you know just a normal day, but you're like you know what that piece from Glados might work it's with. I don't know something. I'll tell you, I'm so disorganized. You're that's see, that's right? a very good point. And a lot of cosplayers do that. Yeah, a hybrid. Yeah. yeah, exactly. And a lot of cosplayers do that. But I'm so disorganized that at this point, I go in my closet and I go shorts, tank top, <laughs> and so this is like isn't like tank top, 
skirt. Yeah. <laughs> One of my favorite cosplays that you do is really clever. It's the ladies of the internet oh, where you do you. like explain it to our audience because it is so clever. It's awesome. Which one? Which who should I talk to? Is this? Yeah, that's, that's these your, guys. There you go. Hey guys, what's going on? Um, <laughs> ladies of the internet is essentially an idea. There was a lot of mashup cosplay happening, and I thought it'd be really fun if we did a burlesque cosplay with different websites. So we. <laughs> that's so cool. <laughs> Thank you. We started out with a fairly small group. It was like the basics: Google, Reddit, Facebook. Uh, I don't know if we had YouTube, but you know. And then we expanded, and then we had like Deviant Art, and we had WebMD, and like it was it was really fun. <laughs> My favorite was WebMD was you're pregnant or it's cancer. Like they had a little oh, sign no. that said because oh, no. if you ever if you ever have a problem, you go to WebMD. Yeah, and for sure like, you yeah. do. And that, yeah, you're like, which one is it? It's, I need to know. It's only one of those two two things. It's yeah. like you got a little rash. It's probably cancer, or you're pregnant. Right. Or you're pregnant. Yeah. Oh one or the other. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Those symptoms filter and what, everything. What cosplay do you have? Like, is there something where I've always wanted to do this? Oh God. Yeah. Well, but, there are a lot of those. Because we were just you and I were just at Dragon Con. We were. And that is, I mean, to me, that is like Mardi Gras with costumes. No, it's, it's insane. insane. Absolutely. And some of the. It's, they're so elaborate. You've got like giant mech costumes and ones where the there was a guy who was the Hulk. He was thirteen feet high. Yeah, I mean it was well, insane. Do That's you crazy. have you cosplayed by the way? Or, or I have never cosplayed. It's it's a very interesting community because you have all these different types. You know, you have the people who are like, I'm just gonna throw on a dress that looks like a TARDIS, yes. and then you have people who are like, I'm going to spend my entire life making this costume and all my money making this costume with no actual mm -hmm. promise right. of any return. Yes. <laughs> um, so there's like all this crazy stuff, but drag. Con, their cosplay there, the cosplay there is very different. So you've got the ones in the charged dresses. You have girls dressing up like or like pretty much naked with like pasties. My friend was Maid Marion and she had wow. pasties on and hair covering her. Yeah. Do you wow. remember Maid Marion? Oh yes, yeah. yes, absolutely. Uh, so there's like all this they run the gamut. It's all like silly cosplay with a sense of humor. Yeah. At, at I've interviewed con. almost I mean I go to these the, all the cons and interview. I'm always the one that's assigned the cosplay segments. <laughs> and it's funny because I've never actually like cosplayed but you do, you, it, they span the gamut mm -hmm. uh, of people that you're like, did you just think of this last night? Or people oh, that yeah. were like, no man, this, this took me 24 hours of, I mean literally hours of my life putting this together and I did it on this budget and mm -hmm. I love hearing the stories. People get so passionate about it. I love, there's a girl, comic, uh, comic book girl 19 and she makes these incredibly elaborate costumes out of cardboard. Wow. She made a Robocop costume. She did. I saw I love it. it was that. And it's like to scale. Like she basically yeah. printed out all the textures and then glued them and, and you'd be like, that's a cardboard costume. But it took so long to make it. It's amazing. What are some of the trends in cosplay? Like that, for example, like is it finding, is it almost, I mean, it's like DIY meets like your, I mean, what what are what are some of the things people use in terms of like fabrics oh and stuff like it's that? It's everything. You know, a lot of people came up to me and they're like, "I want to cosplay, but I don't know where to start." And it feels like you can just basically. I mean, you look at professional cosplayers, and you can be like, "What is that made out of?" And they'll be like, "Oh, this is just like a plastic tube." I found. Like, it's you can basically foil. I mean, any sort of materials you can really. Those use are my favorite perfect. costumes where you have like 24 hours. It's just found oh, no. whatever you can. I made a, 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 I did a cosplay actually of Ben Grimm as the, the thing, uh -huh. a depowered Ben Grimm, and I made it all out of duct tape. <laughs> That's it was amazing. Basically me I love blue, that. It was me in a blue speedo with a four on it and then a cigar. Dude. I was Ben Grimm on a bad cosmic ray day. I don't, love that. Don't see, Google it if you want to see it. I, I do, so, do want to see it. I do uh, well, want to see then, that. Yeah, actually, we should have had some to... pics queued up for this segment. I would that would some be great. Oh, pictures. we should. Yeah, well, actually, you can obviously you can I mean, Google Chloe's Chloe Dykstra, her, but you yeah. can see photos on uh, your Twitter. Oh, it should be on my Twitter, we'll call which that is out. at Skydart. Right. At Skydart. Um, and then I think I've got a website, Chloe Dykstra, which <laughs> I think may be down because I got a little bit <laughs> no, lazy, oh, no. but it will be back up soon. Now um, you, you've taken a lot of risks in your career. Mm -hmm. You've done a lot of dangerous things. <laughs> like a reality show. <laughs> right. You've done a lot of reality Would you like to talk to the internet? Would our, I? Our guys on Skype. This might be the riskiest thing you've ever done no, in your career. No, not with these guys. These guys are dope. Oh, they these guys are awesome. People you, here. Yes, yes. Oh, so my you guys want to ask Chloe Dykstra some questions? Oh, God. Be good. Oh, God. Oh, God. Be good, internet. Hi, friends. Yeah. Okay, and, and, and Kristen is going to. She's gonna call on you. Do you want me to facilitate? Yes, yeah, oh, so happily. I want you to call on them. Okay. So we can oh, keep it polite. Oh, sweet Jesus! There's chats. Top, top, middle. Yeah, just don't read the trolls <laughs> on the bottom. Okay, top, middle. What's your question, friend? Top, middle. That's oh, me. Middle. 
That's you. Oh, hello. Uh, I want to ask, what's your favorite favorite game? Favorite game? Um, are we yeah. talking about modern game or game in general? Because there's like your it's classic like Starbucks. Games. You have to classify. Exactly. You can't yeah, just say yeah, Grande. Classics. Never mind. What's that? Classics. Classics. Classics? Oh, it would be Zelda. I mean, like, because, you know, overall, I feel like you've got a favorite current game and the favorite game overall. I mean, like, Zelda, I love Left 4 Dead because I spent so many hours oh, on so it. Good. And it's a flawless game, you know yeah. what I mean? There's not, like, a whole story element. There's a little story, and but the characters are all fleshed out. But it's just, like, a really well-done game. I love how these guys, before, when we were talking to Tom Peterson, they're all talking all over each other. And now yeah. that we have a girl in studio, yeah. you're all shy. Come on, guys, step like it up. I'm not like a real girl, though. Yeah. I'm, like, I'm, I'm sort of like a, like a boy girl. But I mean, the, you know, the lines have been, just as someone who's been part of the nerd community for so many years, what I love is really, Comic-Con used to be, if you spotted a girl, it was like spotting Bigfoot. It was crazy. Is that true? That was maybe true. like 30 years ago, maybe yes. 10, <laughs> just like 30 years ago. 10, 10, 15 years ago yeah. at Comic-Con. In the last 10 years, it's become... 50 50. Oh, for sure. It's oh, no. Women cosplaying. It's oh. girls who read comic books and play games. Mm -hmm. It's really the nerd community. Is, and they say now that statistically speaking, gamers are majority percentage women. Right? It is. It's true. I mean, like that you have to. Face. You have to. Oh, what, what? what happened? What? What is that? We missed. She's on here. She's like, holy. I just, you're oh. on. You're next up in the Skype chat. Oh, there's a girl. What? There's a girl. Hey. What? Hey. There's another girl. You know why this is big, Chloe? Because since we started this stream at 6 p.m. yesterday, it's been the same Skype people. <laughs> and the, no one you has guys left are the queue. Yeah, the queue has just been Are you guys getting guys paid for this or what? <laughs> These guys are hardcore. So what? A guy in the Sleeping orange shirt. Orange shirt. I'll, I'll yeah, take yeah, game yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, okay, you're a PC gamer, right? Um, be honest. What consoles do you own and what games are in it right now? <laughs> um, okay. I own uh, Xbox One, Xbox 360, all the Playstations. I have NES, N64. There's a GameCube in my closet somewhere. Nice. Poor little, poor little GameCube. <laughs> um, and currently, to be honest, I will be completely honest, in my Xbox right now is uh, a copy of The Simpsons <sighs> Porn. <laughs> <laughs> what? Technically not what? a game because I have a show called um, hashtag Pizza and Porn every Thursday. I've heard so, of the show. I've heard of the show. So I don't know if I'm, I, I won't talk about it too much, but that's what's in my console right now. But before wow. that, it was Mass Effect Three because I keep. Oh no! Yeah, yeah, Mass Effect Three, and in my PlayStation, on it's Xbox Last of Us. One? What's that? How can you have Mass Effect Three on Xbox One? No, 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 not Xbox One, on my old Xbox. In Xbox oh. One, I haven't played around with it too much, but um, but I have Titanfall. Um, look at these guys getting all snippy. Well, you know, they didn't make Mass Oh, no, Effect look, guys, guys, let's One. be real. I'm, That's legit, but still. Chris, I'm I'm a fake geek girl. I just want to come not. out. You are not. I know you. And also, just, just to toot your horn, I mean, you you come from geek lineage via your father. <laughs> yeah, it's in my blood, guys. I, I picked it up from my father, absolutely. He was part of, uh, tell yeah. us about the Star Wars tradition, oh, well, for people that don't know. Well, yeah, yeah, talk about your dad. Everybody you know. knows about my dad, I love guys. your dad. <laughs> um, my dad did the visual effects on the original Star Wars, um, and it's funny because I didn't really know how to bond with my dad when I was young, because he's kind of like really smart guy that's kind of awkward and I'm also kind of awkward so we never really but then we bonded over Zelda and that's one of the reasons I love Aww. Zelda so much is because when we got the N64 What's he doing? Oh my god, don't do that. Let's do the question on the girl in the upper you. right. Actually, oh, yes. Oh. Hey, I'm back. Good thing you came in because there's a bad person yeah. in here trying to show us some Hello? Uh, some do I exist? Characters. Go right ahead. Do you want to say something? Just uh, talk, it's okay. Uh, yeah, uh, Chloe Dextra is like my idol. Oh my god, <laughs> you're so sweet. <laughs> she, she inspires me to make so many costumes that I do, and oh my god, oh my Aww. god. I'm, oh, I'm so, so glad that you were the next person in the queue. This was like kismet, you know that, because no one, no one has come in new to the Skype hangout. Like, really? No one, no one, no one. And this has been like the first, so this is awesome that it happened when Chloe was here. I'm so happy you get to talk to her. Do you want to ask her anything? Uh, um, Oh my god, I don't even know what to Here, say. Here, well, let me ask her a question. Okay, go. I'll ask, what costumes have you been making? Well, currently I'm working on Angel from Borderlands. Oh, that's awesome! Oh, that's so cool. Are you going to shave your head? I'm, I don't 
That's hardcore. So. That's pretty. That's pretty hardcore. That's <laughs> see. That's one of the reasons I was afraid to do Angel because it's kind of hard to do like the bald cap thing. Like but, yeah. Yeah, but that's awesome. I can see you making a good Angel. <laughs> Thanks. I'm also working on so many other costumes. It's not even funny. <laughs> that's awesome. <laughs> that's really cool. Oh, that's great. Well, do you guys have any other questions? And yeah. are you guys working on any costumes? Oh yeah, good question. Right. Um, Bottom line. Yeah. Question. Bottom line. Okay. F first of all. Uh, I love you, and I want you to marry me. Wait, uh, <laughs> which me? you? Yeah, this is your second. Yeah. Oh, I love you. my goodness! Well, thank <laughs> you. Uh, second question. It's uh, um, it's more complicated. I want to know: Do you have some trouble sometimes? Because we know that you know costume and cosplay is really like a world where a girl have to you know wear the less clothes possible. So do you get like uh, people looking you in a bad way? You know, I I'm going to be frank. Do they look you like a piece of meat, or do they? Uh, uh, really think it's art. I <laughs> I honestly think that just as a girl, oh. you kind of get looked at it as a piece of meat. Yeah. I mean, regardless of what you're wearing, I mean, I guess when you're wearing costume, you have more attention drawn to you, so it becomes a little bit more obvious. And yeah, maybe sometimes, I'm lucky, I haven't had anything terrible, but a lot of girls have, you know, been inappropriately, uh, inappropriately harassed at conventions and stuff because some guys take that as uh, uh, an invitation to get a little touchy-feely or, you know, sort of, you know, it, it's, it can be pretty rough. That's the whole cosplay is not consent movement, you know right. what I mean? Yeah. Um, I really am super lucky because I haven't, I haven't had to deal with that. Well, but I, mean, I know a I, lot of girls who have. And I think the simple rule is one you would follow regardless of cosplays of all. You don't touch a girl. Oh, no. If she doesn't absolutely want to not, touch. no. And number two, this is really simple, is ask permission to take a photo. Mm-hmm. Ask permission. When you, I, I think that's such a simple rule. Like yeah. all of a sudden, arms say, around you, and you're like, "Oh, I guess we're taking a picture right, right. now." Yeah, I yeah. love to pers personally. I love to cosplay, and I, I do my own stuff, and I take pictures of people. But I always ask, and you get a better photo that way. Yeah, say, exactly. Say, hey, can I get a photo? I don't even like to be in the photo. I just like to document the costumes because mm -hmm. you see so much amazing stuff. Yeah, it's super easy to too. just ask. You know, yeah. even if you're shy, just be like, "Can I?" I mean, you're gonna come off worse if you're just like seen taking pictures as opposed to being like, "Hey, do you mind if I take a picture?" I mean, obviously, if there's like a photo op happening and there's a bunch of people surrounding the person in costume, just you know, it's fine. They know what's going on. Yeah, but if there's like a bunch of photographers, yeah. then you can step in and and yeah. and try to keep the camera phone or the phone waist level and above. <laughs> just a little piece of advice. And also, if you're taking a picture with somebody, here, get, get over here for a second. Yeah. Okay. Sorry, I'm trying not to flash everybody. Okay. But keep your hand at least a foot away from their shoulder at all times. Oh, really? That's, yeah. It's, no, it's the hover. The hover? Oh. I'm joking. Okay, I was going to say, it's like a back Don't to the future photo. Yeah, you just right there, never touch the ground. I just love hover hands. They're so funny. <laughs> hover hands. When guys do it, is it because they're shy? Like? No, guys do it because, yeah, they don't want to, like, cross but any see, boundaries. It's sweet. a sweet thing. Absolutely. But because on the other end of the spectrum, you have what you guys are talking about. It's like they're letting you know, look, I'm not a perv. I'm just here. I exactly. really appreciate what you're doing, and I just want a picture. It's overcompensating. Though, it is. Now it is you know they're yeah. a perv, right? Because they're <laughs> like, like, I don't want to come off as a pervert. I want to come off as a pervert. Are you part of the 12-step program that told, <laughs> that told you to hover? <laughs> if you're going to do the hover hand, do it behind the back so no one can make fun of you. That's the trick. There you go. Oh, These wow. are the rules, people. These are the rules. Mm -hmm. Good trick. Okay, I internet, you're being very polite. I think I think we can take some more questions. Everybody yell Look, at everyone's me at trying once. to help. Middle right. I yeah. see you oh. kind oh, patiently right. waiting. Yes. I love the Brady Bunch thing going on here. Uh, <laughs> um, have you uh, have you tried cosplaying Impa from Legend of Zelda? Have, oh, Impa? I yeah. haven't. I haven't cosplayed as Impa yet, but that is definitely on my list. The other thing that I wanted to do was do like a because Hyrule Warriors is coming out, and I'm kind of bummed because I wanted to do this before it came out. I was going to take Zelda and redesign it as like a Lara Croft kind oh, of character. Wow. Oh. And I was going to do it for Dragon Con because it's kind of a fun, silly costume. But that's basically, so almost like Impa, right? Oh, I love those mashup yeah. costumes. I love mashups They're too. They're really clever. A lot of people give you crap for it, but I love them. I think no. it's like inspired to watch how people make those costumes and design them. Well, I love your attitude about cosplay because there are people in the community that take it so seriously. Mm -hmm. Like it's, the, and it is like definitely an art form. Like some of these costumes are just crazy, but you have fun with it. You've Absolutely. got like a great attitude about Thank it. Thank you, I really I appreciate it. You yeah. know, everybody has different attitudes towards cosplay and they're like professional cosplayers, professional costumers and that's, you know, that's awesome for them. You know, if I had that sort of skill, who knows how I would look at cosplay. But I mean, I always, you know, I've always looked at it and I, I can't even imagine really looking at it as more than just, I mean, we're dressing up, guys. 
we're dressing up with right. our friends. At the end of the you day, know, we're that's having really fun. what it is. So. But the weird thing is, do, do, like around Halloween, I don't feel like dressing up. I feel like no, everybody's totally. doing it. Yeah, that's I do hilarious. not. Dude, I don't care. I like. I'm like, man, what are you gonna be for Halloween? I don't know. I don't. Know. Yeah, okay. some, I store bought. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> sometimes that's I'm not so gonna weird. lie. Sometimes. Yeah, so. Oh, that's All right. cool. Well, thank hey. you guys for the hey. great questions. As always, Skype coming through strong over thank there. You. you guys rock. Hey. And Chloe, thank no you for anything that you can tell us just coming you. up. Or I... um, we've got a couple yeah, things coming up. Not too much I can talk about. I've got some short films, but actually, just, you know, just stay tuned. Check Twitter. And, 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 and there will be stuff on my Twitter. Well, the only thing is, I really want to know when you're talking about these costumes, the great costumes, where are you going to see them on your website? Yeah, and my Twitter. Facebook, my yeah. Twitter, yeah, all of that you have, stuff. You have an official Facebook page? I don't know if it's official. <laughs> I'm, I'm terrible with my yeah. Facebook page. My Twitter that, just feeds into space, my man. Facebook. Oh, so Twitter fine. Twitter first, and yeah. then and then Facebook. And we actually have a, a, a Chloe video to, to show right we now. We do? So, what yeah. is this Chloe I, yeah. video? Oh, well. If we're ready, are we ready to roll that? Can we, can we check this out? Let's see. My name is Chloe Dykstra, I'm a cosplayer, I'm a game journalist, and I'm a PC gamer. <laughs> Cosplay is completely influenced by what games are coming out because a lot of cosplayers draw from like League of Legends characters or World of Warcraft. I base most of my costumes off of characters that I can relate to and usually they're pretty badass and I want to emulate that person. So I dress like them and go to conventions. My dad is John Dykstra, he's a visual effects artist. He has been for many, many years, and he did the visual effects on the very original Star Wars. My dad and I did not have a lot in common, but one thing we did have in common was video games. And as I got older, I became more enveloped in the gaming community, and finally, I got my first PC. It's awesome. I have played all sorts of games all across the board, but started out console and now I'm sort of transitioning into PC because ultimately, let's, let's be real, PC is the way of the future. It's an entirely different experience. For instance, Skyrim was a game that came out in 2011 and people are still playing it on the PC because there are mods, it changes the game. There is a mod in Skyrim where you can change the dragon into Macho Man Randy Savage. Can't do that on a console. The first time I learned how to mod anything was playing like Sims 2. I love the fact that you were able to completely customize the entire world. And that's what modding really is. And that t takes an experience and completely changes it for anybody who's playing it. Tablet gaming is a very specific kind of gaming. And I think that, you know, with new games like Hearthstone, we're gonna see a lot more like card games and stuff like that. And that's really exciting. And I feel like companies like Nvidia are leading the way. I just love where we are right now. Fast forward, follow me into this area over here. I've got my badge wall. This isn't even all of them. This is just some of them. I've got my Aperture Science portal gun right here. I cosplayed as Gladys from Portal, and I love Gladys so much as a character. So I essentially got to translate Glados into a humanoid form, and that definitely needed a white latex dress. White latex, not easy to wear. Let me bring you over to my gaming laptop. I had it custom built for me. So I've got my little logo, which is my companion cube, but with a red heart instead of a pink one. And if you open it up, I've got Gabe Newell's autograph right here. It's because he is my idol icon, love of my life, Gabe Newell, please marry me. Text me, call me, anything. I love the fact that Steam has sort of created this ability to put out these little games from s smaller publishers and developers. I mean like Daisy and Stanley Parable, which was like this fantastic game that a lot of publishers wouldn't pick up. <laughs> oh, come now. You don't want it to end already, do you? I mean, it's totally crazy how far gaming has come since I was playing Neopets on my crappy old Apple um, desktop. And now I'm playing Left 4 Dead on my Gabe Newell signed amazing Falcon Northwest computer. And you know, Grant Imahara wishes he had a rig like this. That was awesome. That was great. <laughs> Chat and everyone's freaking out about the game, and <laughs> just like 50 pictures of game. You you have quite the collection going on of <laughs> things. In there. I mean that 
the badge wall alone. The, oh, the badge wall was nuts. <laughs> oh I my wish God. I would have thought of that. Like, that, that was, I love that. It, it very started collecting. Yeah. Oh, thank you. I started collecting it, and then I'm like, I don't know what to do with all of these. How many cosplay events would you say you've been to? Oh, God. Are you, like, cons or yeah, cosplay, cosplay events? cosplay events, cons, like, I, I don't know. Events where cosplay Hundreds? is accepted. <laughs> maybe. Yeah. I don't know if I could really, I don't know. I think maybe around 100, maybe more. Probably. Awesome. Probably more, yeah. When was oh. the first time you cosplayed? Oh, like, God. for reals. For reals? Yeah. Okay, so, I don't know, because I started out in Halloween. On Halloween, <clears throat> I did a Zoe costume, and that was my first, like, all right, video game costume, yeah. let's do it. And my boyfriend at the time was doing Lewis, right? And we made pipe bombs and all this stuff. And I was like, this is kind of more cosplay than a costume. And I remember, I was. this was, like, the first time I'd found my friend group that were super nerds and they were cosplayers. And I remembered, I was like, okay, I'm home, because I showed up to this party and there were seven other Left 4 Dead characters. Ugh. I was like, this is the best. Wow. Yeah. But, but that's a thing, couples <clears throat> costumes. I it actually, was, yeah. I, I actually did uh, a girl that I was dating at the time. You did a girl you were dating at the yeah, time? <laughs> no, a girl I was dating at the time did Zoe also from Left 4 Dead. Oh, yeah? And then I did Ash from Evil Dead, and we were zombie killers. Oh, that's adorable. So that was like a couples costume. I was hoping you'd do like Francis, and you'd be like, I hate Steve. <laughs> yeah. Because Francis but, hates But everything. couples costumes is a thing, not just like, male female couples but you've cosplayed with other girls you're friends with in the cosplay community yeah. to do like a group the group cos cosplay group cosplay talk yeah. about group cosplay uh significantly more fun than doing stuff by yourself i will say that after doing season one of heroes of cosplay and doing pretty much all of my costumes by myself and then teaming up with crab cat which was holly and jessica for the second part of the first season I love, I love complicated I know right. we did it two halves of one season um, it was so much more fun to do it with Holly and Jessica like so much more fun and I love how you guys push each other's buttons oh yeah because you know Holly she doesn't like to dress up in <laughs> costumes that are provocative I, she's, she, she's a I little love her. shy she gets she's like a shy, little shy yeah very talented and, mm -hmm. and seeing you guys come together was so great there was the one that you did it was the burlesque uh, what was it? The it was was the, it was a, probably the ladies of the internet. Is what the, you ladies of the internet, but there was another one where you did poison ivy. It was like fifties. Oh, fifties rockabilly. Villain? Yeah, that, that was it. That yeah, was yeah. with Michelle Morrow and Meg Turney. Right. Okay. Yeah. 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 Talk was, about that one because I saw you wearing a Batman T-shirt. Uh, oh yeah. In the in the video, so you're obviously a Batman fan. I I'm am. a little bit of a Batman fan. <laughs> Are you a Batman a fan? I'm a Batman fan. Batman? I have a whole Twitter account where I just tweet things about Batman. Is it at Batman? Fan it's, one it's, one three a bad fan. There's a couple it's of those accounts. At bat Chris Gore. Is that so true? I'm bat Chris Gore on Twitter, and then bat Chris oh Gore God. is also me. Oh, that's but I cute. only tweet Batman things. That's amazing. You didn't know you didn't see the Batmobile in the parking lot? That's my car. That's my car. I did see that's it. That's my car. That's your car. Yes, I, I was like, see this. I'm about to go like there the right bat now. symbol on their car. That's awesome. That was me. That's right. And I knew. I think I knew that you had that car. That's amazing. A little nuts. That's very cool. Tell me about that, because that that is just so. I love taking something we're already familiar with. Poison Ivy or, or those characters, and you flip it, that's where the creativity comes mm -hmm. in. Well, you know? what I'm was fun is I, it was these costumes were designed after an artist, Dennis Medry, I think is how you pronounce his name, but he did all these really cool, these really cool characters designed as like greasers, right? The 1950s greaser style, like rockabilly. <clears throat> and it was really cool. I thought these were really cool because whenever you see Poison Ivy, like she's always half naked like 90% of the time half naked or like in a corset or something like that. And I thought it would be really fun to try to do, basically this Poison Ivy that he had drawn was very modest, um, like sexy, not sexy, I would say more like angry secretary mm -hmm. librarian. And I was like, this would be really fun because it's the total opposite spectrum. And then there were all these other characters like, and you know, you gotta, you gotta do the Gotham Sirens, right? You gotta do Poison Ivy, Harley, and then Catwoman. And so <clears throat> we had the Betty Page style Catwoman and then like a really cute poodle skirt Harley Quinn. And it was just, it was so much fun to do it. Because you don't see those. You don't see them very much running around the clock. And, that and was it's cool in Batman Arkham Knight. It's the first time you can play as Harley Quinn coming out too. So that's pretty, just to throw that out there. But that's true. Anyway, and that true. was a challenging costume for you oh, because God. it involved... Mm -hmm. Animatronics? Animatronics. Yes. We had okay, servos. Well, it's one thing like, oh, I'm going to make a costume. I want to make a oh, costume no. that lights up and mm -hmm. moves and the, the flowers are opening up. And yeah. That was crazy. Oh, yeah. then you have to depend on battery power and all this other stuff. I had no idea what I was doing. And I had like you know, a week and a half to do stuff. it. Yeah. yeah. <clears throat> is there like, any costume you can come up with where you could use a Maxwell GPU? That's, that's the question. Yes. That's the question. 
Maybe. Because that'd be pretty dope. I, yeah, that would be pretty dope. I, I, I don't know. I mean, like, I feel like if you wanted to do animatronics, you could. We were just using li little servos, and, like, it was it was fairly basic. Stripped totally. Down basic. But, yeah, absolutely, yeah. especially if you were, you know. I saw a Zero that was amazing, a Zero from Borderlands, and he had the mask, and when he touched his fingers to the other, because Zero only has four fingers, <laughs> but he had these little um, contacts on his fingers, so he would have a different face for every finger he touched. Oh, wow. Amazing. Yeah. And then he had one that was a little less than three, and I was like, I love you. <laughs> and wow. then I was like, do you use that to get ladies? And he's like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I do. Yeah. Have you, I'm trying to remember, because I feel like they're always against you on the show. <laughs> I feel like I feel like, like the world is just the against, against you guys. The show. It's like, ooh, are they gonna win? And uh, you guys don't. I, I, I think I've seen you win once. Did no, you we win? did okay. You did. Like, um, the first season I won for my gauge, best female oh, that video was game such character. A great costume. Thank you. And then this, I love that one. That she's like my baby. Um, and then the second one was. Oh, I'm touching my mic. I'm not supposed to do that. <laughs> the second one was. Um, we won for Pan's Labyrinth, our Peter Pan's Labyrinth skit. We got first place oh, that's yeah. right and I think we got best group too I think at one point so we did okay surprisingly I mean like when I teamed up with the pros I did a little bit better <laughs> but yeah we did, we did pretty good this this season it was fun now some of some of the women in the arena of cosplay also I mean they, they merchandise them, mm -hmm. themselves mm -hmm. they um, you know will do signings of autographs pictures right. What not? Do you do stuff like that? I don't know if I've ever seen you do that. I did that for the first time. You did it? At How Salt was it? Salt Lake City Comic Con. It's really fun because you get to meet everybody, but it feels weird being like, you know, like, here, buy a print of my face and I'll <laughs> sign it for you. It just feels kind of weird to do that because But cosplay, girls do calendars and they do... Yeah, they do They yeah. do calendars, they do prints and stuff like that. And I mean, like... Well, that's has to be a way to fund it. I mean, frankly... There is absolutely... That's it's, where I, it's okay. I, I think it's fine because... Those costumes are expensive. Oh my right? god. Guys, you don't even know how What's expensive the most they can get. What's you spent on a costume personally? I don't even, you kind of lose count to be honest, yeah. but <laughs> it's probably upwards of like $500 yeah. depending. If you want to, more than that actually, because I just did a Cersei which was super expensive. Like if you doing the fabric, the labor, and then, god, the wigs can be $1,200. Mm -hmm. $1,200 yeah, for, for a, a good wig. wig. Yeah. yeah, for a good wig. Yeah. yeah. So it's pretty, it's pretty expensive. So one of the things that is going on right now with the Game 24 is Mod 24, where people are modding out their PCs. Nice. And that's kind of like cosplay for your hardware. You right, know what I mean? yeah. So is that something that you could ever see getting into? Oh, my God, absolutely. Yeah. I've been looking before. Okay, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to admit something. <clears throat> I grew up in a household with Apple products, right? And I actually am sort of leaning way more towards <laughs> PC because it's so much more customizable you know what I mean and since I've got a PC I haven't you know I haven't gamed on my Mac at all right um, and I love the fact that you can mod much more easily and I even when I was young I would be looking up like little ways to customize PCs and I couldn't I was like gosh darn it <laughs> so yeah one day. yes one day exactly and so yeah I absolutely love it and I mean I showed my my game my gaming rig yeah. if you will and I customize the hell out of it. You know what I mean. And so, yeah, absolutely. I love mod. I love modding. Well, you can customize Apple products. You can put stickers on it. <laughs> That's pretty much what all you can do. I have a do. clear case. Yeah, yeah, I know. I have. I have stickers. I have stickers. So. You know, it's, I've seen some creative stickers. Uh -huh. Yep. <laughs> you know. You can get some some stickers for your back, I guess. So we're obviously the internet loves you. I've never seen them act so polite. Really? Thank you. Should we go the back to your super loves... fan one time? Well, one last you have to question. Go? Like from... she's look at her waiting so patiently. Oh, yeah. One I have last a question. question. Super she's your super fan. Okay, super I'm fan. Sorry, but all the comments inside the chat, which everyone is acting really perverted, is people <laughs> uh, <laughs> treating her like she's boobs without a brain. Oh, no, I don't even. We, I don't. What are you even? I don't know what you're talking about. Well, we, still, we you're so you have a last question yeah. for for really? Chloe before she has to go. Well, uh, I do have a question. Um, I forgot. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Anyone else? Uh, I just want to say that uh, it's not fair that you're so beautiful. It's just not fair. Oh my god, you guys, seriously. Oh That's my so goodness, I, I'm blushing. Oh well, like, apparently there's no question, just amazing compliments. We <laughs> all heart Chloe, I love it. Oh, oh wait, right god. here, She. one last thing, uh, upper right, yeah, yeah. 
I forgot. I remembered. I mean, um, yeah. So, uh, um, how long? Um, what? Oh, what's your next um co convention that you're going to? Okay. Oh God. Uh, thank you. Uh, shoot, I'm trying to remember. <clears throat> is it is it South Texas Horror Convention? I think is where we're. I'm thinking we're going to South Texas Horror Con, which should be really cool because I've never been to a horror convention before. Oh, wow. South Texas? Is that it's yeah. south in the it's southern in the part south of, of the state like, Texas. Not north. <laughs> I've like, only been to Dallas. Those yeah, are the only I actually. Yeah. I, know. I should down. know. I'm not sure exactly where it is, but yeah, I think that's my next con. There might be another one. I think Kamikaze is coming up pretty soon. Oh, uh, that's right. Halloween uh, weekend, right? Over Halloween weekend, uh -huh. we can go there and double up on costumes. See right? costumes. Where can people find right. you on the internet and, and on Twitter? Um, at Skydart on YouTube, Skydart, pretty much Skydart across the board, except for on Instagram, Chloe Dyser. Because someone's squatting my name. I know, squatters. Squatters so, suck. Yeah. Let's just put that out there. Yep. But you rock. Thank you for thank stopping you by. Thank you so much for having me. It was great to yeah, meet you. Yeah, it was really nice to meet you in person, finally.